A silent revolution was born in Austin, Texas. No flashing lights, no stage, no Elon Musk standing before a crowd. Just a quiet breakthrough hidden behind Tesla's laboratory doors. A discovery that could end the lithium era and rewrite the story of electric cars forever. From the outside, it looked like any other battery pack, but inside it carried something the world had never seen before. Faster, safer, stronger, with energy that didn't just sit and wait to be used, but leapt forward instantly, with no lag, no fade, and no fear of overheating. For years, the world bowed to lithium as if it were the undisputed king of energy storage. It powered our phones, our laptops, and every Tesla rolling down the freeway. But lithium, like every king, carried flaws that its loyal subjects ignored. Slow charging, gradual decay, high cost, and dangerous instability when the heat rose too high. Engineers spent years building walls around those flaws, adding better cooling systems, faster chargers, and new cell designs. Every year brought promises of progress, yet the improvements were just crumbs on the table. The fundamental weaknesses never went away. It was as if the entire industry had become a prisoner of lithium's limitations, playing the same game and trying to bend the same stubborn rules. Headlines celebrated marginal gains, but the truth was that lithium was expensive, geopolitically fragile, and technologically capped. While others fought to stretch the lifespan of an aging king, Tesla quietly walked away from the battlefield. Instead of patching holes, they set fire to the rule book. Inside their Austin lab, engineers turned toward a material the world had laughed off decades ago, aluminum. Like a discarded underdog, aluminum had been dismissed as too reactive, too unstable, too slow. It was abundant, yes. It was cheap, yes. But in the hands of researchers, it became a dead end. They called its flaw ion lock, the inability to release stored energy quickly enough for real-world use. And so, aluminum was forgotten, left behind like a broken sword in the corner of an armory. But Tesla didn't see a broken sword. They saw a blade waiting to be reforged. By embedding aluminum ions into a graphene carbon substrate laced with atomic scale induction points, they built highways where there had once been walls. Suddenly, aluminum ions didn't stumble and falter. They flew. A flaw that had haunted the material for decades was cracked open. And with it, the world's energy future shifted course. What once seemed impossible now felt inevitable. And like a dam breaking, the power of aluminum surged forward, rewriting every law lithium had forced the industry to obey. Yet chemistry alone wasn't enough for Tesla. They went further, into the very rhythm of how power is delivered. Traditional batteries behave like a garden hose, trickling out energy in a controlled, steady flow. Tesla built something entirely new, quantum burst control. Instead of a trickle, it was like a fire hydrant releasing power in precisely timed bursts, feeding the motor exactly what it needed at exactly the right moment. The effect was eerie. Torque that arrived with no lag, acceleration that felt almost psychic, as if the car anticipated the driver's intention before the foot even touched the pedal. In the lab, numbers emerged that seemed like fantasy. 7,000 watts per kilogram more than five times the output of Tesla's prized 4680 cells. And the most astonishing twist? While lithium batteries melted down when heat climbed past 40 degrees Celsius, aluminum thrived. At 85 degrees, it hit its stride, laughing off the very temperatures that killed its predecessor. It was as if the material had been waiting for someone to set it free in the heat of battle. Tesla didn't create this battery, to slip into an existing car like an old trick in a new costume. They built a new machine around it. Internally, they called it Redwood, but the world would know it as the Model 2. On paper, the numbers didn't just challenge the industry, they humiliated it. A price tag under $16,000, a range of 550 miles, and most jaw-dropping of all, a full recharge in just five minutes. Not 20, not 30, but five.
Prototypes wrapped in unmarked black shells rolled across test tracks, leaving journalists stunned. Zero to 60 in just over three seconds. No fade, no cooling brakes, no warnings flashing on the screen. Just relentless acceleration again and again. For the rest of the industry, this wasn't competition. It was disappearance. Tesla had moved so far ahead that rivals were left staring at the dust, unable even to glimpse the road forward. Aluminum, once mocked, had become the hero of the story. Where others saw instability, Tesla saw potential. They discovered that embedding aluminum in crystalline graphene structures turned its weakness into a weapon. Heat didn't break it down, it made it stronger. Stress didn't wear it out, it reinforced it. And unlike lithium or cobalt, which were bound by fragile supply chains and geopolitical chokeholds, aluminum was everywhere. The third most abundant element on Earth. No bargaining chips, no monopolies, no dependence on unstable regions. This wasn't just a better battery. It was liberation. And then came the moment that silenced every critic. The five-minute charge. For years, Fast charging was the thorn in the side of electric cars. Even Tesla's vaunted superchargers still left drivers waiting 20 to 30 minutes. But in a closed-door demonstration, Tesla engineers rolled out a modest black Model 2, plugged it into a standard charger, and started the clock. Five minutes later, it sat at 80%. No experimental cables, no exotic infrastructure. Just a new kind of battery and a charging interface built to unleash it. Inside those cells, nanostructured pathways carried energy like lightning through glass, bypassing the bottlenecks that choked lithium. The battery barely grew warm, humming quietly as raw power poured in. In that instant, one of the greatest objections to EV adoption vanished into thin air. Charging time was no longer a problem. It was hardly even an inconvenience. But Tesla wasn't done rewriting the laws of energy. With lithium, every cycle was a slow death sentence. Each charge shaved away a sliver of life until the battery grew tired and faded. Everyone accepted this as an inevitability. Tesla's aluminum battery rejected inevitability. Each cycle realigned its structure, strengthening itself under pressure. Like a bone healing stronger after a break, it grew tougher, not weaker. After half a million full charge cycles, it still held 100% of its original capacity. That is more than a century of daily use without degradation. And with regenerative braking capturing 98% of lost energy, the car's efficiency bordered on absurd. In city traffic, the range stretched by another 20% without even touching a charger. Imagine a battery that didn't just survive stress, but thrived on it. A machine that grew better the more you demanded of it. Tesla knew such a leap forward could not be trapped by old manufacturing limits. So they built Giga Mexico, a factory born for speed and scale. Gone were the slow, water-heavy processes of lithium. In their place stood dry electrode methods that cut production time in half while saving billions of gallons of water each year. Raw aluminum entered, and within 72 hours finished packs emerged. But this was only the beginning. Tesla's true vision was not a single giant factory, but a swarm of autonomous microfactories, each capable of producing a million packs annually. Spread across the globe, they dismantled the supply chain choke points that strangled lithium and replaced them with a new model of energy independence. What Tesla was building was not just batteries. It was sovereignty, the power to unshackle entire industries from dependency. And then came the part that mattered most, the drive. Imagine pressing the accelerator and feeling not just speed, but certainty. Instant torque, instant response every time. No lag, no waiting, no fade. The car doesn't simply obey, it anticipates, adjusting power delivery in real time, reading your style and the road ahead like an intelligent partner. Traditional EVS restrain themselves throttling power to protect their fragile batteries. Tesla's aluminum pack doesn't flinch. It invites the challenge. Haul a trailer uphill, 
weave through traffic, push lap after lap on a track. The performance never falters. It feels less like driving a machine and more like moving with a living thing, as if the car itself wants to go faster. And so the era of lithium quietly begins its end. The four pillars that held back electric vehicles, charging time, range, battery life, and cost, have all collapsed in a single strike. No longer will drivers ask whether an EV can replace a gas car. That question has already been answered. The only question left is how fast the rest of the world can scramble to catch up before Tesla disappears into a future the rest of the industry can barely comprehend. Because Tesla is no longer playing the old game, they've already built the next one.